Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we're going to be discussing the views, right? So if you guys want to download the link for the post or zip, so this one right here, I'm going to go through all these views right now, the comments, replies, and the reply one. I'm just going to go through all three views, explain what I've done in them. So just to kind of make sense, otherwise you will might get lost in that, right? So just download them and paste them inside your components folder. All right, so if we're going to go down, you will see the components folder right here. Under components, you will see the post. You will have the latest right there. So just make sure you have the comments, replies in this one pasted in there. All right, so let's quickly go to the view. Let's just open our post controller quickly. All right, so pages one. All right, so this one will go to the pages.post.show to this view right here now you will see we will check if the post is premium then we check the subscriber if they subscribe to a monthly plan or a yearly plan all right and then we will display this article if they are and if not we display this obviously if they're not subscribed so that's the article if it's premium this is the article if it's basically not premium okay so let's quickly open up the first one so we're referencing in the if the comments if you guys remember on episode 65 our uh, link will pop up right here in the corner right here to for this one so we where we discussed to check if the author allowed the comments to be displayed right so then we will have this part right here so this comments is the one that we're referencing right here so let me quickly go through everything in here okay so what what i've done is i've just had the comment count like that we haven't it's just hard coded right the form right here the comment form we use the blade ui kit form with an action of a route of comments dot store then we have the created uh basically a text area field inside let me just quickly go there under resources views comments under form you will see we created the text area this one right here okay with the classes and with a slot like this okay so that part right there so if you guys want to copy this pause the video make sure that you guys copy this right there so you can obviously style them however you want i just want to give it also a width of for the text area okay so just make sure you copy this part right here so that's basically let me just go into the comments again right so that's basically the text area so we add a placeholder of leaf comment and we basically add the name of body now for the error field let me just move this up a bit so that it's just right there so the form error is a component that we created that basically just displayed if we get an error we just basically highlight the error like this with this classes right there okay so we reference the name in the body for that one right there okay now the thing is we couldn't add by default let's say they're going to create a root comment so basically a root with let me just spell it here root level is like this i'm not referencing a root like this okay so root level being the parent id will be now okay so with that one we we pass in a hidden input field of the depth of zero right here and then for the commentable id we pass in the post, all right, and the input hidden field for a commentable type, we just, just pass the post like this, okay? So that's the first one. This is for the root level comment, okay, like this. Now, for the replies, it will work a little bit different, okay? So underneath the div, right there, we have the replies. So let's quickly go to the replies right here, all right? Now, the thing is, what we do is I created an opening and closing PHP tags right there with a depth. All right now the depth we, i will quickly explain that to you now so what we do is we get the comments depth if the if the comment depth is zero and we times it by zero it will stay zero all right so but if the depth is one times eight it will just be eight so basically what that does is we will automatically add a depth to this one right here of margin length of whatever depth we're working with so basically what that will do is will indent the basically the uh, the comment with whatever depth we have in there so basically we're checking if the comment depth is less than or greater than actually in this case we're checking if the comment is greater than zero then we run this if statement 
like this. All right. So there's basically, so then we can just indent basically this grid uh, like this, basically this whole thing. We just indent it. Right. The next thing we have is the avatar. Now the avatar is something that we created as well. So let me just go there. Resources, views, components. You will see we create a user folder. Inside that user folder, we create an avatar for Kwame. Just, just this one right here. So just create the avatar. Now the avatar will have an opening and closing PHP. And we check if the user is set. If the user is set, then we do all of this stuff in here. So then we have a classes with a flex call and all that kind of stuff. Just make pause the video, make sure that you copy this and add them in. Okay, because you're obviously not going to have that because you're only going to have the comments and all that kind of stuff. And you're going to get an error to say that you don't have this component. Okay, then you pass in that comp user to that avatar component like this. Okay, then we have an anchor tag with an hash sign. We can obviously still add that later to, in order to go to the person's profile, but we haven't created that yet. All right, so we got the image with these classes right here. Then we have a source with the user URL and the username SML, like that. All right, let's move on to the next part right here. We got the comment body. We have all these classes right here. We get the author's name. And then we get the comment body and then we get the dump the loop depth. All right. Now, this is basically how we determine the depth of the comment. Now, in Laravel Helper, basically, if we run, a, because you, as you can see, we're going basically over all the comments. We loop over all of them. Okay. Now, what happens now is somewhere in the loop, Laravel Helper, the depth, we can check how many levels deep we are in this loop okay so that's quite nice all right so and that's the depth that we use to basically determine when how far the depth of the comments are that we save in the database all right so as you can see i'm dumping it right there now what we do is we check if the if the depth is not uh, this depth then we just show the reply button all right so then we just take the looped depth like here all right, we just pass the same loop depth that we just dump in here. We pass it to the reply component, the one that we, I'm just going to get to in a second. And then we pass in the post and then we pass in the comment to the reply component like this. Okay, so let's quickly go to the reply component. Inside here, we're making use of Alpine JS. All right, so as you can see, the X data show, we set it to false. All right. And then we say to the button, we just added a couple of classes in there. So if we click the button, it will basically toggle the show on and off. Okay. So now the thing is, if they click the button, it will show the form. All right. So now what will happen is if I click the button, this part will show basically the form. Now I added the reply.store, but we're not going to use two different routes. We're just going to use one. So we're just going to change this to comments.store. Okay. So then this is the field. Uh, basically the same thing, leave a reply and all that kind of stuff. We use the same text area, but the only difference now is if we go down right here. Okay. We put an hidden input field of the commentable ID. That's the post ID to know which post we actually are referencing. The next thing, the commentable type is obviously the post. This part right here, the parent ID, we are just going to get the, basically the comment ID that we reply on. So. The root one will be have zero or one or two or three. We're going to have that. So this will be, this will either be null or it will have a value. Now, the other one that we're passing through, it's the input hidden field of the depth. Now, the depth will basically be the loop value. So how far in the loop we are. All right. So you can obviously experiment. So as you can see, I'm dumping it out here for you guys so that you can see how nice that works. Okay, now the thing is then the form error input field, we can just move that up as well. So that will be for the text area right there. And then we submit the button. Okay, so in the replies right here. So if we loop over at the replies, you can see we are referencing that same reply. So we're referencing the one that we're basically in so that they keeps on looping over one another. All right, so that's it.
So if you have any questions about this or anything that you don't understand, please ask them for me in the comment section. I'll gladly respond to that. And I'll see you guys in the next one where we're going to create a job to actually create the reply. So look forward for that. So see you guys there. Like the video if you like it. Don't if you don't. And see you guys in the next one. Adios.